and welcome to my home for the next six days this place is absolutely beautiful and if you did not know i am in turks and caicos this place is an airbnb that i rented it is absolutely gorgeous and i'm pretty sure you guys are ready to see what's inside so i'm not gonna wait any longer let's go When you first walk in, you come into this beautiful living room. It's super open and check out the view. Alright, so we're actually staying at the Royal Palms Villas. This is the guy that actually came with the Airbnb and it's basically a guy that shows you the amenities that the villa offers, uh, the surrounding restaurants and stuff that you can go to, when to go to them, and where to party. There's a lot of different activities in here where you can book and order food. First room that we're going in is literally not a room, but well, I guess you could say, yeah, it is a room. It's a bathroom. This is the first bathroom that is downstairs. And yes, this is a two-story villa, so it does have two floors. All right, so this second room, I'm just going to call it a guest room because the master is upstairs and we're going to get to that when we get to that because we got a lot to cover. All right, so this is the first room. As you can see, it's super airy, super clean. This villa is so clean, guys. Like if you're looking to, I know a lot of people want to rent or a lot of people want to rent out Airbnbs that's clean, like, and this one is top tier clean. Guys, this entire house has absolutely stunning views all the way around, and this is one of them. So it has an outdoor patio. Have you open? So I opened the sliding door and it actually leads out to a nice little patio. So I would say this this uh, villa is actually perfect for like a couple, um, like if you wanted to do like a couples group or a couple strip or something like that, this would be perfect for that. Even though it's only two of us this time, we still enjoyed the whole villa. Well, and then we had extra space. So let me give you guys a view of the outdoor patio. So this outdoor patio is super cute. And this villa actually came with a lot of mosquito candles and off. I'm sure you've seen the off sitting in the living room. You're absolutely gonna need it. Not all, I'm sure not all villas or all places that you're gonna rent when you come down here is going to have the, is going to have the like mosquito um, repellent and the mosquito candles and stuff, but you're most definitely going to need them, so don't forget to pack that. All those women know we love a good mirror, so check this out. It does have a full body mirror, so you can get dressed in, see what you look like before it's time to go out or before it's time to go to a beach. Now we're gonna move on to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. The kitchen comes fully stocked. When I say you could live here and you would have everything, one well, majority of the things you would need to basically live. It comes with high quality appliances. The Samsung refrigerator. And again, like I said, everything in this house is super clean. All right, close it. So if you come down here, 
you might want to cook. And I say that because the food down here is pretty hot. So eating out, um, like for two, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're looking to spend between 60 and $100 um, for a meal for two. And that's one meal. Just like for breakfast, you'll probably be spending about $100 between two people i do recommend going to the local grocery store grabbing a couple things so that you can cook and save a little money so this is the kitchen or part of the kitchen we'll get to the other end when we get to the other end so, okay so this kitchen comes fully stocked as you can see we have a coffee pot a toaster and a bunch of glasses different types of glasses that you may need and here we have like bacon dishes and um, storage dishes. Like if you decided that you want to cook, you can cook and store the stuff without just having to throw it in the garbage. So like I said, this place comes fully equipped. It also comes with a Samsung dishwasher because who about to wash dishes on vacation? Not us. We're not doing it. All right, so that's very helpful to have a dishwasher inside a Airbnb or any place that you decide to rent on vacation because nobody wants to wash any dishes. The kitchen also comes with a nice black top stove with five eyes that you can use to cook, of course, and then all the silverware that you can need. Spoons to eat cereal, forks to eat fork stuff with. Well, y'all get the point. Um, it also has mittens and a whisk. What Airbnb got a whisk? I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. So what else can I show you guys down here? Okay, so this Airbnb also comes with a, another Samsung product washer and dryer. So if you guys needed to wash name or dry, then here you go. Um, it comes in handy when you are staying in places away from home for long periods of time. And if you don't overpack, then you can just keep washing stuff and keep rewearing the yard. Now I want to take you guys outside to see the beautiful back patio. Come on. We are now outside about to view the patio. So this patio is super nice. It comes with it, it comes with an entire fire pit with the seating area. We'll probably light this up later on tonight and see how it looks. Maybe sit down here and chill and play games or something. It also has a grill. So if you were planning to have a party or if you wanted to barbecue, you got a whole grill right here. Now tell me what Airbnb got a grill and a fire pit. I'll wait. So now we're going to go over to the other side. We do have a pretty basic seating area right here. You want to just sit here, wait for the food to get done, or you just want to get some shade, then you sit over here. Okay, what's next? The pool. Let's not forget the pool. I do not know how deep that pool is. I did not get in it, and I might get in it later. I just don't know right now. But we do have lounge chairs, as you can sit out and tan, and the umbrellas if it's too hot and you want to cover the sun a little bit. So we have a additional seating area. I know, right? There's a bunch of them around here, but this is the one that sits right behind the living room. So here's a view of that.
overall the outdoor space on this villa gets a 10 out of 10 for me well hold on wait a minute let me be completely honest overall the outdoor space on this villa gets a 9 out of 10 and i give it a 9 out of 10 because the mosquitoes are relentless so, but other than that, it's pretty nice. And if you want to book this Airbnb, I will leave a link below that you can check out. But let's go upstairs because that's where the magic happened. We got to go see it. All right, so let's go upstairs and check out the master bedroom. This is one of my favorite parts of this house. These stairs are gorgeous. I love the lighting path all the way up and it has a great view at night. This is by far one of the most warm shit. The view is absolutely gorgeous. Like I can sit out here and just take this in all day long. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the sunrise or the sunset on camera because I woke up this morning and I was in complete off. So I'm gonna try to get that on camera and show you guys. But yes, this is the seating area and this is the view that you get. Let me show you guys the other side. So this is the other side of the view of the seating area. It's not much, but we want to look at this side, right? Yeah, that side. All right, so here is the master bedroom. Can we say, oh my God, this is amazing. All right, so this is where all the magic happened. And yes, it's not made up because um, I didn't feel like it. So we're gonna go ahead and move over here. You got the bathroom and the room are one and the same. There is, it isn't separate. There is barely any privacy, but I don't mind. Um, I mean, if you're going with someone that you're used to, wink wink <laughs> so that really should not be a problem so check out this tub we have a super cute deep soaker tub all the appliances here are like a one a one this is the his and her sink bathroom sink yes i understand it is not clean i know that um look this is day two this is not day one and i don't feel like cleaning like that it's not nasty it's just who putting all this stuff back up i'm not okay so check out this view from this mirror though i don't know if you can catch the background on the camera but the ocean is <laughs> i love it i love it i love it all right check this out y'all i really love this this is so nice like if i ever get a house or well i have a house but if i ever move or get something else it gotta have this shower in here it got to check out this shower so not only do we have a pretty nice shower behind me but wait check this out check this out we're not done yet we also have a outdoor shower like come on now tell me tell me tell me what villa you know got the indoor shower and the outdoor shower i'll wait i will wait this is so cute and yes i already used it because i had to it's hot outside the water's perfect it it was great guys it was great 
All right, so moving right on along. Mm, close that door. So I want you guys to really see what I see when I wake up in the morning. Like I said, the last time, the, the first morning, well, yesterday, well, earlier this morning, this morning was the first morning. When I woke up, I was just like, oh my God, that's beautiful. Like, it's so amazing to wake up and see this. Like, I get to wake up and see this for the next five days left, I got five days left. But, you have to wake up and see this beautiful view. All right, so I was gonna show you guys this balcony, but there's really not much to see. What you see is what you get. It's small, it gives a good view, and that's about it. So I'm gonna show you guys the last seating area that we have in this Airbnb. So um, it's like next to the bathroom, and we just walk out the door. It is sunny out here. All right, so this is actually where I, like, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my yoga, doing my stretches. Like, this, tomorrow, this this is going to be my spot. Tomorrow morning, this is going to be my spot. All right, so this is basically the view. That's the car we rented. I'll give you guys a different, a separate video of that. Y'all see, it's missing the hubcap. Ooh, was that hubcap missing at first? Oh, <gasps> I don't know if that hook cap was missing. <laughs> it's missing a hook cap, y'all. The car is missing a hook cap. We might get charged for that. Look, that's going to be a whole nother video, so stay tuned. All right, so yes, uh, this is basically the last outdoor area. This wall right here behind this wall is the outdoor shower. And we have another seating area back here is basically nothing and it overlooks the guest bedroom outdoor seating area back here there really isn't much of a view but once you turn this way ah, gorgeous gorgeous let me make sure y'all can see this so all right, so I had to re-record. All right, so yes, this is the last outdoor seating area that sits outside of the master bedroom on the opposite side. Um, yeah, and I don't, I think I don't know if this is a design or it was cracked, but I don't know. Whatever. That is it. So I really hope. I really hope you guys enjoyed this room tour. If you like this content, please subscribe and like below. Um, and comment below, where, where, where should I go next? Where should I go next? I have an idea already of what city, country, maybe, that I'm going to go to next in yeah whatever we'll see so don't forget to subscribe like and comment guys if you like this airbnb i will link the description below i will have the link below thank you so much for wesley to uh uh big thanks to wesley and amp for hosting this beautiful airbnb and they're so helpful they were super responsive about any issues that we had if i have any more issues though i will give y'all updated video because we gotta keep honest content right we gotta keep it honest so um yes this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye